there will be no need for all this agitation. We started with restructuring, but they refused to give it to us. They refused to restructure. And we said, come, if you're not giving us restructuring, then let's just start our own nation. And that's what we are doing. And I don't believe that it's any other doing that. In a very peaceful manner. And that is what led to Sunday's ago invasion. Maybe they assume it's only Sunday ago that is doing this, of which it is not only Sunday ago. It is all old world is in that all over the world that is doing this. And there is no going back on it unless we dialogue. When we dialogue, we brainstorm, we make our suggestions, we let our feelings known to them. And if they are ready to work with it, then we go ahead from there. But arresting, killing, or kidnapping anybody from a drug descendant, be it Sunday ago or any other person, will not stop what is going on. We cannot continue like this. Our people are being killed. They will kidnap them. After paying ransom, they will rape them. After raping them, they will kill some. Our farms are being invaded. Farm produce is not getting towards us anymore. Arm robbers everywhere. Full and eight men carrying AK-47 while we are being handcuffed from carrying any arms. And I keep saying this, we don't even need arms and ammunition to fight this fight. We are very peaceful in Yoruba land. But if we are chased to the world, we'll turn back and do what a brave is expected to do. We have it in stock, not guns, not bombs. Our local ways of fighting, how Yoruba people used to fight, we still have it in stock and it's there. If anybody calls for it, we'll bring it out. So they just have to listen to us. The federal government should do the needful now. They have to do something about what is going on in the country presently before it degenerated into another thing entirely. Okay, okay, sir. Our security issue is, is a very big mess now. How can we, um, what's the solution for us to live all this crisis if we have it our security? Community policy, they've been agitating for this for long. The government is not saying yes to it. But my advice to our Southwest governors is that they should meet with groups that have knowledge, that have experience about security and sit with them to secure their states. That's my advice to them, the Southwest governments. They should call all groups that are into security and sit with them. The insecurity is too much. And then it can affect anybody. It has not gotten to them now. Does not, it cannot affect them tomorrow. 